Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can donate your spare computing power to crunch data for a variety of different projects spanning many different disciplines. This project was set up and this program created with the intention of helping projects such as SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and the World Health Organization, which generate terabytes of raw data in a day, process that information in a unique and powerful way with thousands of home and business computers donating their spare processing power to crunch data at speeds that would make the Cray supercomputer weep. For a more technical explanation of how this works, check out the link in the description. But without further ado, let's get on with setting up the program. Now first off, you're going to have to download and install the Boink Manager program. This is the program that makes everything work. Uh, now you'll need to lo you'll launch it, and since I'm already contributing where is it? And since I'm already contributing to uh, two different projects at the moment, I'm contributing to SETI at Home and the World Community Grid, an offshoot of the World Health Organization, uh, I have stuff in here, but your project area will be blank. Uh, but to begin contributing to a project, you click Add Project, make sure the Add Project radio button is selected, click Next, and then choose which project you wish to contribute to. There's uh, quite a lot f spanning many different disciplines, like I said, from astronomy to uh, mathematics, earth sciences, and cognitive science and artificial intelligence. Uh, what I'm going to... I think I might just contribute to... Uh, let's see... Yeah, Prime Grid. I'm going to contribute to Prime Grid. They're setting, this is basically searching for the largest known prime number. Right, okay, next. You click next and it will communicate with the project. And then, if you're already running the project, if uh, if you're already running the project as I am, I can click I am an existing user. But if you're not, you can create an account here. Let me log in. Communicating. And it will communicate. You'll uh, And your project will be added. And when you click finish, the uh, the project's website will come up and ask you to set a couple of preferences and ask you whether you want to join a team of other people. This is entirely optional and not really necessary. Uh, okay, now that I have Prime Grid on, uh, you can okay, now you're contributing your spare power to the project. Now you need to upgrade your uh, preferences. Uh, you can you need to change your preferences to uh, your thing, your uh, specifications. So all you need to do is go to Tools, Computing Preferences, and choose whether you want to set your computer to only do work between a time, or only connect to the internet, disk space limits, and whether processor limits, whether you want to use it on a battery, and how long to wait before the project starts. Then you need to click OK, and then uh, that's you going. But if you want to uh, see more in depth as to what your computer is doing, you need to click View, Advanced View, and then under Tasks, you will be able to see all of your projects that you are currently, and all of the programs that are currently running and everything that you're uh, contributing to. Now, at the moment it's suspended because the processing unit is busy recording this, but it would be, usually if you leave it alone, it would be, it would be running at this point. So if you, right, once you're doing this, uh, hold on, I need to change my uh, settings to yeah, run always. And it was okay. Oh, Komodo being good. Okay. Now it's running. This is what it should look like to you. I'm contributing to SETI, Clean Energy Project, and Astral Pulse, and uh, the Prime Grid. So to see, yeah, if you click on one of the tasks, you can see. Uh, the message boards and the project web pages and the account and your preferences. But the coolest thing here is that you can see the graphics of the application. This is the coolest part, completely the coolest part. It sees it's a graphical representation of what data you're crunching, where it came from. This information came from the Acerebral array, and your info. Now this is my uh, this is my username and this is the team. This is my total credit. Uh, and then all of your overall of how much you've contributed to the project and CPU time that you've get given to it. Uh, and then uh, the other thing you can do is you can set your. Oh, I better turn this off before my computer blows up. Okay. You can also set your screensaver 
to oops, you can also set your screensaver to the boink the boink manager and it will show you a uh, it will display oops I can't show you that but it will display uh, which projects you're co you're contributing to and how much work you've done uh, to anybody who goes past your computer when it's in when it's in standby uh, oh, one more th one more thing I better tell you if uh, your contrib if you start contributing to SETI and if your computer discover as if as your computer is processing data it discovers something that may uh, prove that extraterrestrial life exists, your you and your computer will be credited with the discovery. Right. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you uh, I hope you feel compelled to join this incredible project and uh, please please continue to comment, rate and subscribe.